We have some more shapes here. These are nice for them to feel and touch. And usually we, I, ha I also have some shapes in words and we match the shapes with, the, with their words. So numbers one through a hundred, which is easy to get any bookstore. A set of dominoes, once again, great for little counting practice, all the little dots. Here are a couple other math activities. This is teaching all the colors. Here are some circles that I've made and they just have to sort to sort them by the size. They get to the smallest. You can line them out straight into a line or like this. This is learning how to tie your shoe. You just poke holes and they string. I have some little bags I've collected here and I put the bags in front of the numbers and they have to put little objects. You can use anything, any of the little objects that you've seen before in the little collections, the frogs, the animals, they put the right amount inside the bag. Here are some shapes, just cut out paper shapes, which they can make patterns with. This. You can do all kinds of things with it. You can grow your pattern. Put a red one next to each one. Usually I do a sample and they have to follow me. This is from an old game that wasn't complete once again, so I just kept all the little squares. There's a lot of them, so another great thing for counting, sorting. This they have to put, they have to make a little, they can make little uh, shapes with it or a little box, all kinds of things. These are fun to put into each other. So these are the size of the frames and they have to match the right picture to it, depending on the thickness of the frame. For example, this one would be this one. It's the thickest. That's how we learn thinnest, thickest. Your little fish with numbers they have to put in the right order. And houses. These are, they have to put them in order of windows. One window, this one has two windows six windows and on it goes. They put them in the right order. And this is the last little thing on the math kit, teaching colors and shapes. Each kid takes a, pa a page like this and they have to match the shapes, the right shapes. For example, t-shirt and they put it on top of the t-shirt. A bow and then they learn what the color is underneath. They have to put the right little square onto the colors. For example, a green leaf, you would put the green. A blue balloon, you'd put the color blue. Yellow, what's yellow? It's a duck.